Hey everyone, Ronnie Road back again this week for another episode of my Cross Stitch YouTube channel where every two weeks we talk about a lot of little, every little things, probably what's going on the last two weeks. We talk obviously about cross stitch and patterns and uh, what I'm doing and what you're doing. And so anyway, um, I'd really like for this to be um, a shared thing where we all get together and talk and let me know what you're doing. I'm certainly let you know what I'm doing. So um, I do have my cheat sheet and I'm, I'm not calling it a cheat sheet anymore. I'm calling my teleprompter because I can't afford a teleprompter. This is my teleprompter. But um, anyway, that'll let me know what I'm doing and where I should go and what subjects I'd like to talk about. Uh, first of all, hope each and every one of you had a great two weeks. I hope every one of you stayed healthy, had an opportunity to get outside, get some exercise, and uh, obviously do some cross-stitching um, on pieces that you're probably working on right now. So, uh, and if you are, please keep me informed. Again, this week, i like to ask each and every one of you, if you press the little button down here, the subscribe button, I really appreciate it. Uh, that will subscribe to this YouTube video, Ronnie Road Designs. So anyway, what's been going on this two weeks? Well, had a busy two weeks. I've had some lot of exciting things happen, uh, some not so exciting things. But uh, one thing I had happen, I just left a while ago. Uh, my wife and I just walked in the house before this video. And right now it's about, uh, I don't know what time it is. It's about almost nine o'clock. And um, this is the first week that in my area, they started a concert series where they have a lot of local bands, really good bands. And they have it at two locations, one on Wednesday and one on Friday, Thursday nights. And where just literally a thousand people get together and sit in the lawn chairs and have snacks, drink beer, drink ever what, and just have a really, really good time listening to music and, and dancing to the music. So we, uh, We've been there tonight and saw a lot of friends up there and sat around and talked and uh, stopped by and got a pizza before we went there. So uh, that was a good evening. Weather was weather was wonderful. So a lot of people came out for that. So that's what I'm gonna probably be doing on Wednesday nights and Thursday nights for the foreseeable future, uh, at least this summer and everything with these summer concert series that we have. Another thing went on this past week. Um, I did uh, visit with some cousins this week. Uh, my cousin who lives in Williamsburg at Kings Mill Resorts uh, invited me, myself and my wife up to visit with my cousin came in, her brother from Atlanta. And so we got to visit with him and his wife and some more cousins. And so we had a great time up there. They really enjoyed that seeing people. It's not I don't know about you, but trying to get family together to do something like that seems like it's always a challenge and people are doing different things. But we were able to get a lot of us together and so really, really enjoyed that this week. Um, gardening, I'm still doing a lot of gardening and I've been out in my gardening. I did find a really good friend in the garden that I'm going to share with you. Um, <clears throat> went out and um, it was a black snake. And so I want to show you this picture of a black snake that I'm putting up right now. And I uh, caught him in my garden, and I usually catch about eh, two or three of these a year. And I think this one is hanging out in my shed, which is uh, in the picture behind the uh, behind the uh, picture my wife took of me holding the black snake. Um, so anyway, I took him back and let him go. They're 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 not poisonous. They won't hurt you. And so uh, got me a really nice black snake running around my sheds and around my garden. And so that'll keep a lot of the mice down and rodents. So anyway, not that we have a lot, but anyway, hopefully we won't have any with a black snake around. But anyway, uh, that that was something that happened to me this week. And uh, I took a picture. We really, I, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed catching him and my dog went nuts. But anyway, that's uh, beside the point. Um, what else is going on? Um, oh, I got a wonderful picture from a friend of mine, a lady who has been uh, doing my designs for a long time, Cammie. I think I've mentioned her before in some of these videos, and Cam Cammie was nice enough to share with me 
uh, a picture she had done and had framed called Flight. It's one that I, I know you're familiar with if you've been to my site. And uh, anyway, I'm going to show you that picture right now. And um, she did a marvelous job on this and uh, sent it to me. And I really appreciate that a whole lot, Cammie. That was very, very kind to you. And as I've said before, I uh, really enjoy seeing pictures of uh, uh, my designs that someone has done and framed and had them all, all, all put together. Uh, I don't get to see much of that. And I don't know, uh, I guess that's, um, I think one reason is, um, <clears throat> I'm not really quite sure when people buy my designs that they complete the whole thing out huh? because they are they are pretty lengthy. It does take a time some time to do the these designs and uh, I don't know if uh, a lot of people uh, are persistent enough to complete them. But anyway, I know Cammy was and I really appreciate it. Cammy, thank you very, very much for sharing that with me so I could share it with all of you folks out there on YouTube. Um, what else is going on? Um, oh, I'll tell you something that's interesting. It caught my attention this week. I was sitting back Sunday watching 60 Minutes, and they did a piece on an artist. And, and for the life of me, I can't remember the gentleman's name now, but he's really famous. I should know, but I don't. He's real famous, and he does enormous pieces of work. And if you've ever seen... Uh, somebody take a balloons and make a balloon dog or something. He makes gigantic animal figures and other figures out of stainless steel. And uh, the reason it caught my eye was in the interview they did with him, they asked him, did he do his own work? And he doesn't. He hires the work out to literally hundreds of people uh, in various uh, uh, trades, whether it be in uh, sheet metal, stainless steel, welding, and polishing, whatever goes into it. These, 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 these pieces he has take an enormous amount of time to do. He does all the design work and supervises and does all of the logistics, if you will, of putting the piece together, but has a uh, very, very skilled team of people that make these works and put them out. And they're in galleries all over the country, if not the world, and a really, really successful guy. And the reason I caught my eye was because they asked him if he ever did a piece himself, and uh, he said no. He knew how to do it. He knows how to go about putting it all together to have it done, but he really doesn't do the work himself. And I, I kind of uh, thought about myself, and someone had asked me, and not comparing me to him, but um, somebody had asked me, do I do my own pieces? And yes, I do. And maybe that's the reason after doing 42 years of cross stitch, I've only come up and actually put out about 100, 125 or so designs that I have out in those 42 years. And I've been pretty consistent over the years of staying with this uh, because it takes me so long to sit down and do the design and do all the stitching. Because like I've told you in the past, I do all of my own stitching. I stitch all of my designs. I, I will not, I will stitch every one of these designs that I put out. And so, uh, and I don't uh, contract anybody out to do the stitching for me. It's just uh, the way I have done all my life. Um, I guess I could do a lot more if I had people stitching, but that's just not me. It's just not what I, 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 I like about cross stitch. But anyway, uh, I thought that was interesting. I really enjoyed that. Um, what else is going on? Uh, let me see my uh, teleprompter. Um, what am I working on? Headlight. And the last time we were together, I showed you a picture of headlight. And I didn't really know if you're going to be able to tell where I was going in this. But I guarantee you will know today, because tonight. Because what I'm going to show you is headlight. And you will see how all this is coming together and what I've done with headlight and what I've tried to um, try to capture. Uh, this piece has a lot of color, which I really like a whole lot on this. So I, 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 I keep going back to one I did with the lock and a lot of different colors, a lot of thread changes, and I really enjoyed it a whole lot. So um, this one is very similar to that. Uh, I've got probably two more weeks uh, by, by the next time we all get together. 
Um, I'll probably have it framed. Uh, hopefully, I've got some more stitching to do. Another week, another really good week of stitching, and then I'm going to frame this all up. Haven't decided, made the frame, got the frame all ready, but haven't made up my mind yet on mat board and colors I'm going to use to it. I'm kind of thinking a black mat board. I'm not sure yet, but anyway, any ideas? Be Put them down there. Let me know what you think. I mean, it's it, but there's so many co times uh, colors of matte board. So anyway, without going any further, this is headlight, and now you're gonna see where the headlight is. What I'm doing. There it is. What I'm stitching right now is right in this area coming down, and then I'll have this area right in here to go, and that'll finish headlight. And what I like about this, like I say is the colors and what you originally saw was this area up here and i know you couldn't tell it was going to be a headlight but now obviously you can the real challenge to this piece which i really enjoyed which i really like a whole lot is the actual light itself to be able to sit down there with a glass on the light and make this thing with very shades of gray blues and some pink in there i think i've Pretty much got that headlight the way I want it. And this headlight is on an old car, obviously an old rusty looking car. And you can see the bumpers, the front bumpers of the car. So, but anyway, that's gonna be headlight. And so uh, I'm really enjoying that. Let me get that thing up there a little closer so each and every one of you can really see what is going on here. And that's very, uh, uh, <clears throat> it's labor intensive, but uh, I think it's gonna be a very very good looking piece when it's all framed up so anyway that's where i am on headlight um <clears throat> next project what am i working on next well i've got three or four pieces that uh i could start stitching on i think right now but where i am going after headlight with all these colors i'm going to start on a project in a couple weeks it's called orleans and Orleans is one I've told you about that is really going to be, I think, a classy piece. This is going to be a big design. It's going to take a long time to do. It's not going to be just the black and white. It's going to be four colors in this. It's going to have black and it's have some grays, some lighter shade, whether it be a, a 762 or 415, those type of numbers. But I'm going to make it so I have four shades so I can do the shading on top of the black. If you look at some of my pen and inks, my just a solid black, uh, they solid. But this is going to give a little bit more perspective. It's going to give a little bit more shadowing to those black blacks that I do use in the pen and inks. And so I think you're going to really like this. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a good looking piece. Uh, having Finished completely on the bottom right hand side of it yet with the design, but I've got the vast majority of it with what I want to show in the picture all complete. And so now what I'm doing is a lot of the filler around things that I want to put into the picture, which uh, um, really do not have a, um, a distinctive place for each pixel to go. They can be moved around various places, but but to get the perspective I want. So that's that's uh, that's what I'm working on right now. That bottom right hand corner. So anyway, that's um, in the works right now. I'll be showing that in the weeks to come. Uh, again, if any of you folks out there have anything that you're stitching, I don't care if it's needlepoint. I don't care if it's a painting. I don't. Anything that you have that you would like to share, that you're proud of, that you like, I mean, I would love to see it. I really would. I I, I find uh, I find everyone's work fantastic. I really do. Whether it's a big project or a big one like uh, Headlight or certainly like uh, Orleans that I'm going to do, or a small project, it makes no difference. There's a lot of effort goes into your work, and I think you ought to show it to people. Uh, I'd certainly like to see it. So anyway, do that if you will. Uh, not much more going on uh, in my world. I haven't talked to Jules lately. I know she's been busy doing her new job and uh, creating new designs and I wish her well. She she does a fantastic job on everything that she does. So um, anyway, wish her well. 
Um, don't know about Nashville. Somebody was asking me, am I going to Nashville next year? Uh, probably not, but I, I haven't completely ruled it out yet. So there are, uh, it's something that um, I possibly, I, I'm certainly going to look at. So we'll see where I am at that time. That's a long ways away. So got a lot of summer and fall to get through before any of that. I, I, I will have some new pieces for it if I do go. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But anyway, that's about all for this week. And so uh, uh, I wish every one of you uh, to get outside, get that exercise like I talked talk to you about. Uh, keep stitching, send me stuff. And um, the number one thing, as I always say when I leave you, the number one thing I want each and every one of you to do is please be safe. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.